Hey, a pleasant happy day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and a happy thanks to those of you that have subscribed this far. I hope you're all having a good holiday season, and please continue to subscribe down below at the easy-to-use sub button or up above at the easy-to-use widget. Also, subscribe over at Steel Flyers All Sport Network and Flyers Nitty Gritty that I'm a part of. But this is going to be on Corey Kluber to the Rays, as this is another under-the-radar pickup that I really like, because look what they did with Rich Hill, and then they were able to flip him. This is a guy that they're either going to keep through the season if the Rays have a good season, like they're expected to do, as long as we have a season and Rob Manfred and Tony Clark and everybody get their act together. But um, this is a very good under-the-radar pickup to me because Corey Kluber is a still very solid innings eating pitcher. He didn't get to pitch in 2020, was bad in 2019 but was really solid and really good, honestly. Not really solid, was great in 2018. 20 and 7, 18 and 4, 18 and 9. Still was really good the years before that, just sucked in 19. Comes back 3-8-3 ERA, 5 and 3 in the Yankees mecca, a big team like that. Does well where we've seen other veterans that have been good throughout the careers, like Burnett's of the world. Not do well in the Yankees pinstripes, for example. Corey Kluber did. Now he goes to a division foe. The Tampa Bay Rays really like the move. This dude still got the stuff. He's still got a great mix, and he still can eat innings for you. He's obviously not going to get to like the 215 unless if he really stays healthy like he did in 18, but like 147 to 150 innings and up. That's very possible for Corey Kluber still at this point of his career in my eyes, as long as he can knock on wood, stay healthy, because this dude is still a dog and a guy that goes out there each five days, and you just know you're going to get good pitching from him that's able to get you through the fifth inning, which is something that's overrated now, um, or underrated now, excuse me, where before you always wanted to get your pitcher through the fifth inning. Now it's like, oh, well, we have a great bullpen. We're just going to take this guy out of it. No, you want to have, in my opinion, if I was a manager, I would always want my starter to get at least through the damn fifth inning because that sets up my bullpen better. I would ideally want him to get through the through the six or into the six because that sets up my bullpen best. Then I can use my extra guy, like my um, fourth guy there, and then use my top three guys for the seven, eight, and nine. So I, I think that's stupid the way that unless if you're a team that has stack rotations like the Rays usually do, I'm fine with it if you're like that. But if you're not a team that has stacked rotations through and through with your bullpen, you shouldn't be taking guys out early. But Kluber's a guy, we've seen Cash do it with other guys. I don't think he will take him out early if he's rolling, because he's kept guys like Glass now in. So it's also overrated the harp on him. I think people, when they get on him, <coughs> excuse me for taking guys out early, because he did it with Snell before, but that's why it gets overblown where he also lets guys go if they're doing pretty solid. I think Kluber's a perfect pickup down there um, in Tampa Bay. He adds another veteran presence to the rotation, which is something I really like that they do each season, and not just like a random Matt Moore veteran presence, <clears throat> Phillies. But they add somebody like Kluber, just like they added somebody like Rich Hill, who has very good pedigree and still pitches very well, innings eater, and gives you quality innings. That's what Kluber is going to do for this Tampa Bay Rays team. Love the pickup. Good job, Rays land. Hopefully now we can get the season back to play some baseball and have guys report when they're supposed to report on time. So peace out, everybody. And please can subscribe down below or on the Easy to Use widget up above. Stay safe out there, everybody. And enjoy the rest of the offseason and the holiday season. Peace.